Hi everyone, welcome to an SMB Solutions cloud services tutorial video. Now customers and resellers often want a shared folder in the cloud environment to share documents, crystal reports and other SAP attachments. Now the C or the Cloud Control Center automatically creates a file directory for each new database and it does proactively assign all of the users of that database, database permission over the folder. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to show you how to actually set up that folder. Now the easiest way to do this or the most simple way for me to show you is through the SMB Solutions Cloud Services web client. So that's what you see in front of you here. Now this might look familiar to some of you. Um, if you're not sure how to access this, you just bring up your web browser and you type in the address up the top. So that's gateway.smbsolutions.com.au forward slash rdweb forward slash web client and that'll bring you to this page here. Now this already has my login credentials saved, um, so just make sure you put in your own login credentials and then click sign in. Okay, great. So I'm just going to go into my SAP Business One. Now what you'd normally do is you normally, if you're starting your workday or you know whatever you're doing, you'd normally just open up your SAP Business One client. Uh, but what we're going to do today is we're actually going to click onto here, this Windows File Explorer. Now it's going to want to have access to your local resources and you want to allow that. And we're just going to give that a moment to actually uh, load up and bring up your Windows File Explorer. Great, so there we are. Now this is uh, what you may have seen in our other videos. Uh, we have a 2FA that I've set up for my account. Um, so I highly recommend it. Um, it makes it a lot more secure. That's just sent a push notification to my mobile. So it's allowed access. Um, so that means that you can open up your web client anywhere and you know you can feel safe and secure because you've got um, that extra level of protection um, and only you can access that. Okay. So just give it another moment here while it's loading up. Great, so this has brought up our uh, Windows File Explorer. So what I'm gonna do is if you go into the address bar, there's a very specific address that you need to type in, which I'm going to give you now. Okay, so it's a double backslash, SMBPDC, and then another backslash, and then you wanna put in triple C storage, and then backslash again, shared folders and I know my specific database so this is where you put that in um, and I know the one that I want to use today is SMB test Ooh, it's going to be all one word for that one and then enter okay so this is my database this is the uh, folders that are already this is the shared folders that are already inside this SMB test database so if you want a specific folder say for example to save your crystal reports to then what we can do is we'll just right click inside here We'll go down to new and then we'll click on folder. Okay, and for obvious reasons, we'll call it Crystal Reports 2020. Okay, beautiful. Now, rather than having to put in that full address every time you want to access this, what I recommend doing is you can right click on the folder you've just created and you can click pin to quick access. So now that's popped up just on that little menu bar to the left. So when you go into your file explorer now, instead of having to put in that full address and find your database, now all you have to do is click on your little quick access here, your Crystal Reports 2020, and you're all ready to go. Okay, so I hope this video has been helpful. Um, of course, if you haven't understood anything or if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the support team either via email or phone. Um, if you've enjoyed this video today and you want to watch more like it for SMB Solutions or for SAP in general, um, head on over to our YouTube or our Wistia channel. We have plenty of other videos available as well as on our website. Uh, we've got plenty of resources. So I hope this has been helpful. And thank you for watching.